Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and to this very special edition of the FX Impact M4 series because just recently FX has released a new slug liner for the 177 simply called the slug liner. This is the successor to the uh, superior heavy liner and the difference between these two liners is that this new slug liner has a twist rate of 1 in 16 where the heavy liner had a twist rate of 1 in 18. What this means is that we can potentially shoot some heavier slugs and maybe even shoot them a little bit faster. When you make a change like this, it's very likely that you'll have to change your preferred velocity. So that's what I'll attempt to find today with the 16 grainers from HNN. I'll test them in a velocity range between 850 and 950. When I shot the 16 grainers from HNN in the heavy liner, they had their best velocity at around 880 feet per second. So I'm quite excited to see where the best velocity is with this new liner installed. But let's jump right into it here at my magnificent range where I'll set up the target at 100 yards. This video is not meant to be like a accurate test like what you can 100% expect from this setup. It's just to examine what kind of velocity might be the right one and hopefully I'll punch in some good groups anyway but it's not like I'm gonna do this uh, 16 group test it's just to see what the potential of the slugs are but uh, let's get cracking That was a pretty good start. Uh, let's see, with an average of around, what's that, 907, I think uh, it did pretty well. It's difficult to find words for this. In the very first attempt, you can see the shot string uh, right here a few uh, ciders and then I went for the target and it looked like this. It was a 16 millimeter group at 100 yards uh, and yes it's, uh, it's, it's slightly um, below um, the target but anyway I, was <laughs> I, I thought that I was just uh, kind of uh, making ciders or warming up but anyway a five shot group at 100 yards first attempt a 16 millimeter group that's spectacular I shot this uh, with an average of around 907 uh, feet per second and because I just didn't want to leave it there uh, coming uh, here to my range and just uh, shooting uh, shooting one group and then uh, go back home I thought maybe I should try to uh, to, um, to try some uh, some some different um, velocities and it actually just took one click down on the power wheel for an average velocity of 900 uh, feet per second and I, I didn't think that I was gonna make a group that was better than 16 millimeters uh, so I just uh, yeah, turned off the camera and just uh, started shooting and of course doing this <laughs> I punched in this one a 14 millimeter group at, um, at, at 100 yards and with an uh, average velocity of around uh, 900 so I really didn't see any purpose of uh, testing uh, the full ve velocity range as uh, I said in the beginning from 850 and all the way up to 950 because when I'm shooting these groups just around 900 feet per second I would say I, I don't need it to, to get uh, any better than that but uh, yeah 
that was a that was a pretty good test for uh, for for the slug liner. I will admit though that I went here um, the other day with the exact same setup and decided to um, to test uh, at some higher velocities because back at my uh, at my uh, 37 yard range uh, back home uh, I tested and it showed out that it had some kind of potential from around uh, 970 feet per second and perhaps all the way up past a thousand so that was uh, like the range that I was focusing on but the story there was I could punch in some some super four shot grooves and the, uh, usually uh, the fifth uh, would would just get completely away and I'm talking like five six seven centimeters off target and that's not um, uh, uncommon in um, uh, with, with these higher velocities in, in all the barrels I've tried so um, that it also happened in the, in the slug liner yeah that's what it is but then coming here today and focusing on the, the lower velocities or focusing it was a pretty easy test I would say and getting these uh, results it just shows that uh, this slug liner has uh, uh, a, a big potential I will of course uh, dive into um, to some other slugs as well of course the 16 grainers from San, my favorite slug but since this is a slug liner and with a faster twist rate and as I said in the beginning it will potentially stabilize some uh, some heavier slugs I will definitely uh, uh, focus on uh, on the 20 grainers as well but um, for uh, a beginning for a preliminary test of the slug liner I think it definitely passed the test so if you have questions please don't ask me about my tune Please don't, because yes, I have the regulator at 118, but my setup is uh, is probably very different from yours. So, me giving your, uh, you my tune, uh, it doesn't help you at all. Uh, on the contrary, perhaps uh, it was just uh, confuse you even more. So, <laughs> please don't ask me about my tune. But anyway, if you have other questions, you are more than welcome to uh, ask them in the comment section below. And uh, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button right down there in the corner. So, until next time. Take care and pew, shoot safe.